Moving on to the next example, given the function f of x equals negative x squared plus 4x, we have to find the derivative f of prime x and then find the equation of the normal of f of x at an x value of 3. Now, you may be asking yourself what the hell is a normal, and I'll explain that in question 2 once we are crossing that bridge. But for now, let's just find the derivative of this function. So to find the derivative, we would use that derivative definition of the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So then f of x plus h, we would just plug in x plus h into the x values of the function, and we would end up with this portion right here. So this portion in red brackets is f of x plus h, and then we're subtracting f of x, which is just equal to negative x squared plus 4x and then this is still all over h. So then expanding the numerator, we would foil this bracket and then distribute that negative in, distribute the four inside this bracket, and then distribute this negative one inside this bracket, and we would end up with all of this in the numerator. Now, notice how a bunch of things will cancel out. So the negative x squared, positive x squared, that cancels out and then the 4x minus 4x cancels out as well. So then what's remaining is that negative 2xh minus h squared plus 4h. We can take out an h from all three of those terms. So we take out an h, factor out an h, and we're left with negative 2x minus h plus 4. Now notice how the h's cancel out. And now we can plug in zero for h. So the only h remaining is this h right here that goes to zero and we are left with negative 2x plus 4. So negative 2x plus 4, that there represents the derivative of this function, negative x squared plus 4x. Now moving on to the second question, we have to find the equation of the normal of f of x at an x value of 3. And a normal is just basically a perpendicular line to the tangent of a function at a specific x value. So let's show this visually. So this here represents the function negative x squared plus 4x. So it has x-intercepts at 0 and at 4. And the way we got that is we can just factor this. So if we take out a negative x, we'd be left with x minus 4. So the x-intercepts are at 0 and 4. So we have to find the equation of the normal at an x value of 3. So that would be somewhere around here. So if we draw a tangent line at an x value 3 on this function, we would have this red line here. However, we're finding the equation of the normal, not of the tangent. And the normal is the line that's perpendicular to the tangent. So the normal is going to look something like this where the angle between that tangent, the red line, and this normal, the blue line, is 90 degrees. They're perpendicular. So to find the equation of that normal, of that blue line, the first step is let's find the slope of the tangent of the red line. And to do that, we can use the derivative of the function that we found in step 1. So the derivative is equal to negative 2x plus 4. So if we want the slope of the tangent at that specific x value 3, we would just find f of prime 3. So plugging in 3 into the derivative, we'd have negative 2 times 3, which is uh, negative 6 plus 4, would give us a slope of the tangent of negative 2. So the slope of this red line here is negative 2. And then once we have the slope of the tangent, we can find the slope of this normal line because it's perpendicular. So it's just the negative reciprocal. So the slope of the tangent is negative 2, or we can rewrite it as negative 2 over 1. So the negative reciprocal of that would be 1 over 2. Notice how it's positive, because negative times negative gives us positive, and then we just flipped that fraction, and we got 1 over 2. So we know the slope of this normal, of this blue line here, is equal to 1 over 2. And now that we have the slope of that normal, we need to just find that b value in the y equals mx plus b formula. So, so far we got y equals 1 half x plus b, where 1 half is the slope of this blue line of that normal. So we need a coordinate on that normal as well. Well, a coordinate we can use is the coordinate on this function that we're drawing the normal at. So we know that the x value of that coordinate is 3. 
and then the y value, we can just plug in three into our function here. So f of three, if we plug in three for x, we would get a y value of three as well. So then plugging in x, uh, an x value of three and a y value of three, we'd have three equals one half times three plus b. So then one half times three is three over two and then three minus three over two would just give us three over two. So b is equal to three over two. So then our final equation for the normal is y equals one half x plus three over two. That's the equation of this blue line here. So as a quick recap, if you're finding the equation of a normal, three steps. You have to find the slope of the tangent at that x value, and we can just use the derivative. So you would plug in three for the derivative of whatever function you are working with, and that would give you the slope of this red line, the slope of the tangent. To find the slope of the normal, because it's perpendicular, it's just the negative reciprocal of that slope of the tangent we got. So we got negative two, which is like negative two over one, so the negative reciprocal of that is one over two. So that's the slope of this blue line here. And then once we have the slope of the blue line, we just need to find that b value so we can use that coordinate on the function that we are specifically working with. So we're working with a specific x coordinate of three. To find the y value, just plug it into the function. We get three as well. And then plug in three for x, three for y, solve for b, we get three over two. And then our final equation is this y equals one half x plus three over two. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.